Darling, everybody. Brett Barnett. How lovely to see you. That, that's a very intense clip. It's really intense. Very. I'm afraid for his life. I'm afraid for you. Are you a very argumentative person? I mean, not normally, but apparently. Yes, I think you are. Yes, I think you are a very argumentative person. Sometimes. Yes, I can see it. Well, just calm down. I'm just kidding. No. I kind of turned me on a little bit. Really? Yeah. But I'm a very strange little sort of perverty man. <laughs> that's an interesting name, Brit. Are you British? No, it's just, it's Norwegian. My grandmother was Norwegian. Really? Have you ever been to Norway? I've never been. Oh, it's amazing. I believe I've never been either, but I... But I, <laughs> but N neither of us have ever been. That's never been to Norway. That's another thing we have in common. We should date. That would be tricky. Oh, yeah. we should not date. Well, I never said it was impossible. I just said it would be tricky. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke, honey. It's a joke. It's a joke. I like your top. It's, uh, it's quite uh, Resident Evil-ish. It is. I wore it in honor of that. Really? Are you a big fan of the zombies? I've never seen it. Never seen it? <laughs> no. I've never seen one single Resident Evil movie either. You haven't? No. It sounded earlier like you were very familiar with Mila Jojovovich. She's been on the show. She has? She's been on the show, yeah. She's terribly nice. Yeah? I believe. <laughs> are, you, are you dating her too? What do you mean dating her? Like dating her and two rabbits? Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have pets? Do you have rabbits? Is that what it is? No, I've never had a pet. Never? Ever? I can't even take care of myself. I can't be responsible. Really? Why can't you take care of yourself? What's wrong? I'm sort of a mess, you know? Like suitcases, dirty clothes, just it's a disaster. Are you a hobo? I, I'm a little bit of a hobo. Really? Yeah. So you don't live in any one place? You travel from town to town solving crimes and getting... I'm, I'm sort of a vagabond, yeah. Really? Train hopping, eating out of dumpsters, the works. <laughs> I don't think we can date. You don't think no. so? No. No, I gotta, I gotta be here. But I, it could just be like a fetish thing for a while. Just, what, what? Just sort of freakish, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm in. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> if it. If it's just a fetish thing, that's <laughs> fine. Where are, you, where are you from then? Not Norway. No, Chicago. Oh, that's much closer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Still cold. It's cold, but I don't think it's as cold as Norway. Really? Well, maybe I don't know. I think Chicago gets cold. It's, it's free. Do you enjoy the, uh, the hot dogs there? <laughs> I've never, never had Never had a hot dog, dog in Chicago? No, I have. Yeah? Yeah. A, a Cubs game or something? A, no. 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 <laughs> no, behave. No, it, at that store. You know that famous place where you get the hot dogs? Isn't that Pink's and isn't that here? Oh, yeah, there is. That's right. I'm getting it mixed up. It's Pink's <laughs> and it's in Los Angeles. Yeah. Do you, are you a vegetarian? I am. I knew you were. I know. I can tell. How could you tell? You smell a little bit. I do. No. <laughs> I kind of do. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You smell a little bit like uh, produce. <laughs> yeah. You are a vegetarian? I am, yeah. What kind of vegetables do you enjoy? I love cauliflower. Mm, me too. What's your favorite vegetable? Cauliflower. No, it's not really. Why? Are I you even you, saying that I to me? I don't feel that it is. It's, it's one it's of them. It's too bland for you. You'd like something spicy. Mm, like a pepper, maybe, is yeah, what like you're saying to me? Yeah, like maybe an eggplant. I feel like you're more like an eggplant. An eggplant? Yeah, yeah, I enjoy eggplant, but I, I think I like, you know, I like cauliflower with cheesy sauce. But see, that's, that's cheating. I mean, that's not really what do you mean cheating? Well, I didn't, I didn't know it was a, it, there were rules. I mean, yeah. I'm, it has to be just the vegetable with maybe a little bit of salt, maybe olive oil, but the plain vegetable. Like, which one actually? Well, I'm, then I'm out. Then you're out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I'm going back to bacon and pulled pork. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> pulled pork. No. Yeah. How long have you been a vegetarian? For four years, but sometimes I lapse if I meet a really amazing cheeseburger. I've been known to lapse. Well, cheeseburgers are rarely vegetarian. <laughs> Why did you smell your finger there? Is that a reassuring thing? I wanted to make sure I didn't smell from earlier. You don't smell. It was, I was only, I was, you don't smell at all. A little bit. You only smell a little bit. <laughs> you should have your own line of perfumes. A lot of the celebrities do that. Oh, you think so? Yeah, yeah. You know, you could be slightly vegetable. That kind of thing. <laughs> Like just a little waft of yeah, like broccoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you know, a little broccoli little waft. Little broccoli yeah, yeah, yeah. waft. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. Do, no, listen. Uh, Where are you gonna go with nah, that? Nah, it was a fart joke. Okay. Uh, so, 
Uh, tell me about the movie then. The movie is Richard Gere plays this hedge fund manager extraordinaire. Great. Tons We're out of, of time. Money. We're out of time? <laughs> Sex, drugs, rock and roll, no rock and roll, but intrigue. Richard Gere's good, isn't he? And lots of money. He's amazing in this yeah, film. Yeah, no, he's a pretty good actor. He's stunning in this film. Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, no, he's actually very good. I think he's incredible. Really? Yeah. Is he vegetarian? I mean, I spent an hour yelling at him in the park. Is he? We'll have to ask him. No, he, he ain't coming here. He's not? <laughs> Why, you, why do you think so? No. I said some things. You did? <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, you don't want to know. I don't want to know. He says an urban legend, that kind of, yeah. What's the legend? No, it's just, it's a dumb thing. It's not true. I just kind of joked around with it a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Will, will you tell me after? I'll tell you now. Okay. I have to tell you in the form of mime. Okay. Rabbits? Smaller than a rabbit? A guinea pig? Smaller than a guinea pig? A mouse? In, in the mouse family? There's a mouse family? I don't know. I mean... No, it's a stupid dumb thing. I wish I'd never done it. It's a dumb thing. It's not true. I don't know why I was perpetuating that crap. It's uh -huh. ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what anyway, we really are out of time. So, uh, do you want an apple or uh, some sugar? Sugar. Do you want an apple and sugar? Mm, no, just sugar. Okay. Uh, do you want? Uh, do you want the entire dish? <laughs> this is really sugar. Yeah. Do you want all of it? Yeah. Well, I, I, I must warn you. I got meat on it earlier. I'll take it. <laughs> Then my work here is done. Rip my leg, everybody. We'll be right back. I do. I love your outfit. It's a bit naughty looking. You think it's naughty? Yeah, a little I bit naughty. I was no. trying to be very conservative. It kind of looks conservative, but sort of naughty librarian conservative. Like, oh, I'll just get you a Dickens. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No. You know, I, I have a confession to make. Is it dirty? It's a little dirty. I raided your wig cabinet back there, and I tried on all of the wigs. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't tell everyone I have a wig cabinet. <laughs> Really? I have a wig? I used to wear wigs. We used to do sketches. I haven't done one in a while. So, I should do that. The Martha Washington one is interesting. What do you get up to in the Martha Washington wig? It's a thing I usually do when Harry Mandel is here, but it's just for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wear the wig. He looks me in the eye. <laughs> it's like, do they tell you to look me in the eye, too? Do they tell that you to Nobody do Nobody told me that. Yeah. Nobody told me that. But you're doing it anyway. I'm doing all right, right? Oh, yeah. Do you usually like it better if I, if I look... Any way you want to do it, I'm good. Did you write this movie? I co-wrote it with Zal, who directed it, yeah. Nice. Yeah. What's it about? Escaping from a train dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's about a girl who's a corporate spy who infiltrates this group of anarchists. What? Um, so it's kind of, it's like a modern Clarice Starling kind of thing. Really? Like, uh, do you hear the lambs, Clarice, and all that kind a of A little stuff? like that, but, but corporate espionage instead of the FBI. But the, is there, like, serial killers and put the lotion in the basket and all that <laughs> stuff? <laughs> There's not quite like that, but there is a very charismatic group of anarchists, and... What do anarchists do? Do they have, like, I mean, are they, they're real, right? They're totally real. Yeah, what, what do they do? In have fact, ever... Zal and I spent a summer sort of on the road traveling and living with direct action groups and anarchists and learn to train hop and dumpster dive. It's and not just hobos? Live in squats, no. <laughs> they're living off the grid of capitalism. Ah, sort of like living... Right. Turning the waste of this culture into abundance kind of thing. So they probably don't watch this show. I don't 
don't know. You're kind of an anarchist. I think they totally no, watch No, but I'm on, I'm on CBS. I mean, no anarchist in the world goes, well, oh, it's, it's time for CBS. <laughs> no one says that. <laughs> Or do they? I'll have to ask they? them. I'll have to ask them. Right. I'll well, can you call them? Do they have a phone? Do you have a phone? Um, no, we'll call them later. We'll call them after. Yeah, I can, the anarchists can't have phones, do they? <laughs> Don't they use owls? Oh, it's, it's Harry Potter. You know what I mean? Carrier you, pigeon. Yeah, yeah. Do, yeah. do you like Harry Potter? I do. It's a little bit Harry Potter, your outfit, actually. It's a, so. Yeah, it's a little bit Hogwarts. I like it, yeah. Like, am I one of the students or am I one of the teachers? Oh, definitely one of the teachers. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. No, 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 it's good. I, you know, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I think it's just got much creepier, uh, didn't it? <laughs> I didn't mean that. It just looks great. Do you like Harry Potter? I do, yeah. Are you a Gryffindor? Which, which one are they again? That's, that's Harry Potter's one, the Gryffindor. So the good guys. Yeah, they're all good guys except for the Slytherins, but they're kind of good. Some of them are not bad. You know, some of them are very... I always over. kind of like the bad guys. I think I bet I would like the Slytherins best. Then uh, it's time for you to leave. You think so? No, no, not at all. Did you see uh, now books or movies? Then did you read the books or do the I movies? I saw the first movie, but that was such a long time ago. I know, I know. Who was your favorite? What side were well, you on? I like Snape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Potter, that guy. Yeah. He's intimidating. If yeah, I... I know. I usually go for the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's it. What kind of movies do you watch then? If it, if you hate Harry Potter so much. Which I've, I've decided I'm going to tell people. I watch a lot. I, watch, I like The Princess Bride. Really? Yeah, that's I love my that favorite movie. movie of all time. Yeah, uh, Princess Buttercup was here recently. Was she really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up until a little bit ago, I thought I was going to marry Inigo Montoya, and then I realized that he's actually on Homeland now. Yeah, he and is. probably married to someone else already, and I... Uh, no, he's got a beard now, too. I mean, a different beard. I mean, Inigo Montoya was like, hey, you know, it's like a little nippy beard. Right. But now it's a big kind of, I like, you know, real beard like there, type of beard. Right. Like you there know. might be food or something. There'll be food in there, yeah. yeah. And maybe an owl. <laughs> do, you like, do you like owls? Not that big. The beard is not big. Oh, it's for pretty big. Oh, you, can get, uh, you can get really small owls now because of di iPods. Ti yeah. <laughs> Baby tiny owls. Baby, have you ever seen a baby owl? Is there anything as cute as a baby owl? I have not seen one before, but I'll go look after them. No, this. don't you? They're protected. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you have some here? Are these are like an owl closet for like the wig closet? No, there's no owls? such thing as the owl closet. <laughs> I'll show you afterwards. There is, isn't there? No, there's no owl closet. Hmm. Like if you could be any type of bird at all, though. You know one of the things what? I learned on the a road pony? Was... You'd be a pony. <laughs> no. I'd be a pony That's... too. One of the things I learned on the road was to make bump keys. So technically, I can pick any lock. So if you have a locked cabinet of owls, I'm gonna find it. You before can pick I it. Like so, that thing with the uh, the you can handcuffs. Any... You can do that. Yeah, totally. I did that in the movie. I did. I know, but stuff. I thought it was maybe you know CGI. That wasn't fake. No, that was the real uh, yeah, deal. Yeah, come on. Like if you were in Vegas and they put you in a tank underwater uh, with handcuffs on. You could undo the handcuffs and escape? Yeah, totally. I mean, I'm very good at it. And I can also, you can take a, a house key and you can file down all the grooves and make a bump key and you can use it to open almost a any bump, door. Is a bump key a sex thing? Is that a... <laughs> no, it's not a sex thing unless you're unlocking a sex cabinet, I guess. Like... <laughs> So it is a sex so thing. So kind of maybe, yeah, maybe everything is always gets back. Wait, to weren't sex. you worried when you were living amongst the anarchists off the grid? Weren't you afraid? Did you need a weapon? With I you? had knife and a knife oh, well. and mace. Can you fight with a knife? Pretty well, yeah, actually. Really? Yeah. I also You're trained. Kind of awesome, really. <laughs> I also trained in Krav Maga for a while, so I felt like I could handle it. I felt like I could. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like... But I never met a, a bad anarchist. I, I liked everybody I met. Really? Yeah, I never needed to bust out any of my moves. Didn't they kill Archduke Ferdinand it's, it's really, or something at some point? <laughs> Honestly, it's really the capitalists you need to know Krav Maga for. Don't, don't say that. This is CBS. It's teeming with capitalists. <laughs> this is the epicenter of the corporate structure. Why didn't someone warn me that? Yeah, they're, they're looking finish. at us right now. They're watching us right now. They've got eyes in the rhinoceros. No. <laughs> Am I going to get ejected from my seat or like dumped into some? No. Did the floor open oh, that up? would be great. Would be if cool. I was like a Bond villain? <laughs> yeah. If you just didn't just like go, the guest and you're like. I'd love that. Yeah, you I would. I would have used you it would, too. Wouldn't before. You? I would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who would you have used it on? Howie Mandel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would just like go like that. Yeah. I would just like, you know. So, uh, have you ever met my piranha fish? <laughs> 
And the seat just spins around and dumps into yeah, a yeah, cavern right. of piranha. Favorite James Bond? Who's your favorite James Bond? I don't really watch those movies. Really? You were doing so well with me. Really? Yeah. Wait, okay. I mean, I've seen one or two. I think Sean Connery was pretty hot. That's, there, there you're fine. You're yeah, back. Okay. It's okay, yeah. yeah. This yeah. date is making me a little nervous. It's not a honest. test. It's not a test. It's, it's a, not like at school, yeah. which your dress is a bit like. <laughs> You're not my student, and I'm not, I'm not your teacher. Oh, no, ma'am. No, you are not. No, I, I never had any what teachers look like it? you at all. In the Scottish comprehensive system of the 1970s, it, it was against the law for teachers to be attractive, I think. Really? I think so. It was something they were trying what out. What kind of teachers did you have? Uh, they were very brutal. 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 Brutal, yeah. Which is a combination it's of brutal and It's a combination of brutal and beautiful. And beautiful. Mm. I rather like it. Mm. You were very quick to get me there when I made a mistake. When you're like, oh, brutiful, ah, ha, ha. You... No, I liked it. I thought it was a mashup. I thought it was on purpose. It is. It's a, a, a mashup. That's what I do here. Yeah. We're out of time, you know. We are? Can well, we? not you and I, but the show. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, let's keep going. We can. Okay. You want to plug the movie a bit more? No. Okay. I think that's good. You do? Yeah, I think it, I think it shows you're confident in the movie. The movie's good. That's what I thought. Yeah. You just did it there, didn't you? You just plugged it a bit without... That was a secret plug. Yeah, no, it, right. I made it look like I wasn't What do they call that secret plug thing again? A bump key? Is that <laughs> what they call it? <laughs> yes, that's exactly uh, what they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. teach you how to make one after if you want. Okay. <laughs> you gotta go say goodnight. Good night. We'll be right back. Tear it up. No! Yeah! No. Yes! Can I see what's on <laughs> No! <laughs> Those are our clues! No, there are no clues right. from now on. It's all white snow, never been trodden in. Okay, bring it on. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You look great. Thank you. And I, I'm sorry I screwed up the title of the movie, I Origins. So have you seen it or have you not I, seen it? I have not seen it. You better, you better go see it this weekend. Yeah, I will. Is it open, opening this weekend? Yeah. Oh, it opened last weekend. Right, that's, I was out of town, but you, this is now... What were you doing? I was in Comic-Con last weekend. You were? Yes. And what happened at Comic-Con? Uh, things, uh... I was, I moderated the Game of Thrones panel. Game of Thrones! <laughs> If I make that gesture, will it make that sound too? If you say Game of Thrones. Yeah. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, there you are then. So if you ever need that in your life or you need attention in a restaurant, do that and the noise will happen. <laughs> the noise will happen. Yeah, the waiter will be like, what the hell? And then you'll come on over. And you... <laughs> so if I'm on like a first date and it's not going that well and mm. I just do Game of Thrones. <laughs> turn into love at first sight, do you think? No, it might turn into a horrible bloodbath, though. <laughs> Have you ever seen that show? Um, I saw the pilot, and it was there was too much blood for me. Yeah, it, well, if there's too much blood in the pilot, then you, you're best to get out then. Okay, yeah. that's what I do, yeah. Hey, um, no, tell me about what happens in Eye Origins, though. Well, it's a story about uh, two scientists who think that they can prove reincarnation... What? ...through the study of the eye. So they go on this journey to find his his lover from the past, who he thinks has been reincarnated in India. As I, now, the reincarnation, does it, like, do you come back as an animal, or is it always a human? Always a human. Oh, no, you know, this could be just come early on. on in their investigation. You know, I mean, you could come back as Jeff, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think the, I think the thing about Jeff is the, the whole premise is, is he never really left. He never yeah. really came Really came back. Yeah, do you really? believe in reincarnation? Come on. I think it's probably not that literal, you know? Right, like, right, right. I think right. you maybe turn into like some sort of energy field that becomes part of a tree or something. Well, I think that, you know, everything in the universe exists. The, I, all your molecules were, you know, sadly not always composed as you, which seems a terrible mistake. Right. Um, we're and stardust. When, yes, we're and when stardust. you break down, you become other things. Yeah. 
for example, you and I could have been part of the same person at some point. Oh, right, or the same star, or the same tree. Well, that's beautiful. The... Yeah. Yeah. We're getting really poetic today. Well, we are poetic. Yeah, We're poetic you people. You are, yeah. I am quite poetic. You're kind yeah. of a poem of a man, yeah. I am. Do you, leave, do you read poetry? I read a lot of poetry. Do you really? What kind of yeah. poetry do you read? I'm reading a lot of Raymond Carver right now. Holy crackers. Yeah. That's yeah. clever. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send you a copy. Okay. Yeah. You're, I think you're into, um, have you been reading the Red Book? I heard something about Oh, your... the Young Thing? Yeah, I've got a copy of it. Well, it's in German, so I haven't been reading it that much, but... Uh... Yeah, you don't have somebody who maybe could translate for Well, me. I have a German in my house who comes round and, you know... <laughs> Talks do you about... just look at the pictures? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah. Well, the calligraphy is spectacular. It's stunning. Unbelievable, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, we're talking about the Red Book? Yeah. You started it. Did I? Yeah, you said we were stardust. No, you said that. Well, you said we were molecules, like, from all through time. Are you? Well, it's just that I don't know. It's not often Carl Jung comes up when we're talking in here. I mean, I'm happy that he has. I love Jung. He was insane and brilliant. He was insane and brilliant. Yeah, I think he was probably insane, though. Are you, have you been analyzed before? <laughs> Why, yes, I have. Are you, uh... <laughs> this is not a pipe. <laughs> is I... that not a snake? No. <laughs> what are we doing, audience? You don't know. Just go ahead and clap. Uh, <laughs> we, uh... Are no, we... I received analysis. Why, only today. Once a week I get analysis. What did they tell you today? Oh, just uh, some stuff. <laughs> you don't want to share? Is it like patient, you know, confidentiality? Well, I think it's more, uh, it's more about, you know, uh, your dirty laundry, really, right, isn't right. it? I mean, do you get psychoanalysis? I have, I have, yeah. But you stopped? I stopped. Why? I'm intrigued by that. Yeah, well, because I started traveling a lot. And right. I felt like I was doing my therapy on the plane, honestly, by just, I would just watch a lot of movies and cry a lot in the movies. And I felt like I was just working it out in the movies. You know, even a romantic comedy can make you weep on a plane, I think. You could be watching Bridesmaids. Yes, planes uh, make people very emotional. Yeah, yeah. So no, was, that's true, there's I a study like done I on that. I was doing, getting my emotional sort of exercise just flying around places. No, I, I disagree, I don't think that works. I think yeah. stopping analysis is like saying, you know, I used to brush my teeth, but I'm fine now. They're you clean. think I should go back? I think, I think that if you're prone or, or receptive to that kind of thing, then you, it's an act of self-robbery not to. That's okay. That's you know, yeah. I think that you would clearly respond to it very, very well. You're undoubtedly very, very clever. Why not investigate yourself a little bit? Okay, more? I'm going back. Mm, good. But Thanks get, for that. But get a good uh, therapist. It's very important. Do you have a recommendation? Yeah, I do, actually. Yes, do? I do. Uh, are you in Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'll talk to you afterwards okay, about this. I mean, very, very clever person. Okay, I didn't think that was going to happen today, but I'm glad it has. Well, you see, you've got to remain open to the possibilities of life. I'm totally open. Yeah, well... <laughs> Hooray for that. I uh, am. <laughs> Gotta do the job. <laughs> so where have you been travelling around to then? Anywhere exciting? London. I was in London for six months. Oh, that's absolutely top-notch. Yeah. Have yeah. You, have you lived there? I did. I used to live there, yeah. You know what's crazy about London is they have a very different culture around drinking there. Oh, yeah, they like to. They, yeah. they like to get annihilated yeah, because just, the pub closes at 11. So right. it's just like a race to get really drunk before the pub closes. <laughs> so right around like 10.30, 10.45. West the, End of London? Crazy. Yeah, totally. It, the, it, the streets run chunky with vomit. Yeah. <laughs> they really do. No, they actually it's do. unbelievable. The level of public drunkenness in London is spectacular. Yeah. And remember, I've been to Boston. I mean, it's... <laughs> I mean, it's worse, unbelievable, right? Worse than Boston. Yeah, I think it's you kind of don't know in the streets whether people are having fun or they're running from something terrible that has happened. It's just... It's a little of both, I think. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. Well, hmm, I wish I could talk to you longer, but unfortunately... Um, it's time. It's commercials time. What if it's Well, you want to stay for the end of the show? We yeah. could sneak in a little extra bit then. Let's do, dude. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll be right back after this. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can still talk. We're just talking about transpersonal psychology. 
Yeah, I was going to explain what that is, which is this idea that, that we're kind of all connected. So rather than just looking at the psychology of the individual, you're looking at a kind of more of a collective well, that's, unconscious. That's, that, well, that's a Jungian idea, isn't yeah. it? The, the, the collective unconscious. Yeah. Although uh, that apparently, you know, there was he stole it from somebody else. But Who did he steal it from? Well, someone else in the collective unconscious, I suppose. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, no, I don't, I don't think he, he would have done that. I don't I see don't, that. I usually don't believe those stories about theft. Like when they say that Shakespeare stole... Oh, know. yeah. Uh-oh. I think no. it was all written by one guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy couldn't have written all this. Oh, really? Why not? Yeah. He had a pen. You know, uh, probably lots of paper. Yeah, tons of paper. And, t and the interesting thing about how Shakespeare wrote, like all the co comedies were written before his son's death. And all the tragedies were written afterwards. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's fascinating. He, he, his, his whole, you know, psyche changed after the death of his son. And then he started writing tragedy. Mm -hmm. What was his first tragedy? I think it was Hamlet. His son's, his son's name was Hamlet, I believe. Uh, and then he wrote uh, Hamlet. I think, I think that was the first one, but I, I'm not a scholar. Do you know, when I was younger, I used to do these plays where I would mix Shakespeare with the best music videos on MTV, <laughs> and I would mash them up together, and I would charge my neighbors lots of money to come see them. And I did one that was Michael Jackson Presents Hamlet. And so, like... Sounds like a thriller. It was. Yeah. The ghost would come out, and then it would break into, like everyone doing the thriller dance. And I would charge my neighbors like 20 bucks to come see it. And Where the like, hell did you grow up? <laughs> well, the thing was, I would cast their kids in the play. So ah. if they wanted to come see the play, they had to pay. I made a fortune. <laughs> I'm, I'm broke by comparison. Well, ah, we'll get on. Oh, yeah. listen, we gotta go, the show's finished. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Michael. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>